Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to share with you about the five C's to family life. Building and maintaining positive relationship within the family is not an easy feat. Families like a puzzle, they come in all shapes and sizes. And having to fit them together requires much patience and skills. Let me share with you five C's to help strengthen your family relationships. The first C is to commit to build up each other by word and action. Our family is like a team that has different strengths and weaknesses. We need to discover and value the unique abilities of each member. In our speech, do we use our words to rub salt into their wounds or choose to help them overcome? Our choice of words make a whole of difference. One thing I find you helpful to strengthen relationships is to do little kind deeds for each other. It can be as simple as buying breakfast or doing the chores. It helps to affirm the commitment to build a relationship and support in practical action. A good habit that we have in our home is to express appreciation to one another. It is as simple as thanking the person for cooking dinner or even running an errand. Recent research shows that having an attitude of gratitude improves your mental health with a more positive outlook in life. The second C is to connect by listening and affirming. We are so used to talking to get things done. Some of us are also good at telling others how we feel. But do we take time to really listen and understand what our family members are thinking or going through? I remember when I just got married. There was a day on my way home, I was sharing my husband a problem I had at work. He listened and offered some solutions, but I kept rejecting his ideas. He became really very frustrated. And I felt myself getting upset and frustrated with him. Reflecting at the end of the day, I realized all I wanted was for him to listen and understand how I felt. I knew what I needed to do, but just needed to feel heard. And with that, I shared it with my husband to affirm his good intentions, but also to help him understand what I really needed then. We all have different expectations due to our life experience or personality. However, the key is how to make these expectations known so as to minimize any misunderstanding or frustration. Sometimes, we need to agree to disagree at home. The best thing we could do for each other is to listen attentively and reflect back what we have heard. It is also a good opportunity to clarify if we have heard correctly. The truth is, we cannot read each other's mind, but we can share what is on our minds. So it is okay if we heard wrongly, but at least we can clarify and get it right. The third C is to confess. There's a quote by C.S. Lewis, Humility is not thinking less of yourself, it's thinking of yourself less. When we value the people around us, we are willing to humble ourselves for the sake to restore the relationship. I believe our family members will appreciate the honesty and reality of life that we may fail, but there's always room to forgive and make amends. And when we are willing to be vulnerable, it allows the other person to lower their walls and even share how they feel. How do we encourage our children to take responsibility for their mistakes, you might ask? To create the atmosphere for amends, we can help by gently diffusing any defense by assuring them that we are not there to scold or blame them, but we are concerned about them and just want to find out what had happened. We can express our disappointment, but make room for them to make it right. Every mistake is a great learning opportunity, so don't get too hung up on it. The fourth C is choose to forgive. In my interaction with seniors, one of the common stories I hear is the bitterness that resulted from hurts inflicted by other family members who are not willing to admit, admit their mistakes. What can we do if it happens to us? Do we choose to bear a grudge and find fault with the other party so that they really feel our pain? Or we can choose to forgive them. Forgiveness doesn't excuse their behavior but prevents their behavior from destroying your heart. Unforgiveness weighs a person down with many emotional baggage and clouds their view towards life. I'm not sure what you're going through in your family, but I can tell you forgiving someone liberates our heart. Life journey is already very challenging, and we definitely want to travel light and not live life we regret. Finally, the last C is to care for self and others. As much as we are committed to build a family, 
Do not forget to care for yourselves too. Family demands are real, especially if you are a working parent and a caregiver to your elderly parents. You can't save another drowning person if you are drowning yourself. It is important that you are aware of your state of mind and emotions and remember to take time to recharge. At times, we need to learn to say no and ask for help, make time to rest and reflect. And sometimes when we take time to reflect, we are better able to appreciate what we have and remember what is important for our family. I hope these five C's will give you some handles to strengthen your family relationships. Let me end with this quote. Family, we may not have it all together, but together we have it all. Wishing you and your family a healthy and fruitful year ahead. God bless.